Hello everybody and welcome back to this Naruto Ultimate Ninja and today guys we're gonna be doing a 2k thing uh, Subs because you guys got there and that was, was some questions that people asked me So I'll do that and I'll tell you guys a story But I wanted to do it on a day that the squad arena was up so that way you guys actually had something to watch So you guys weren't just staring at the screen the whole time Etc. So yeah, um, so yeah guys, uh, that's basically what we're gonna be doing uh, just uh, you know just showing you some fights and then you know answering some questions so let's get to it um the first one that somebody asked me they asked me uh, uh what motivated you to start uh youtube and doing videos um i mean i've always wanted to do youtube for a long time but um just the circumstances never really came to the point that i could do youtube um it got to the point where i had to find videos that people wanted to watch really uh i wasn't honestly looking to make a career out of naruto ultimate ninja or out of really phone games in general but i was like hey people always ask me questions in the game and stuff like that and i was like well i could help people and i always helped benny um with video with the, like getting ninjas and stuff so i was like you know what like maybe i could no one else is really doing it at this time so i mean i could really make a career out of doing it and helping people just helping them get ninjas and seeing what it's like to be, I guess, top ranked in the game. Uh, you know, because I, I was number one in my server. So, I, I mean, I, I've always wanted to just do it and have fun, you know, always like, you know, making videos and giving it my all. And that's pretty much it. I really didn't have anything kind of motivate me. I was just like, yo, I like doing this and this is fun for me. You know, I like helping people. So that's basically what you know what motivated me but I started off doing um, a hyper universe and it was a it was a MOBA that was on the uh, thing but then that game shut down I'm not really sure why it was I thought it was a fairly fun game but I guess uh, not everyone liked that time um, so I started that and then I did a, this video um, of Naruto Ultimate Ninja and people loved loved it so I was like all right well I guess I'm gonna keep doing this and then you know <laughs> I just got it so um Someone asked me, what is the easiest, um, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I'm sorry, I have a bunch of things written down here. <laughs> What's up, Wolf? Uh, I'm trying to read all these. Uh, oh, are you planning on streaming anytime soon, and in the future, are you looking to expand your content by playing other games to your channel? Now, um, if I'm planning on streaming, I can't do that, uh, because there's a button on the screen this thing right here and if i hit this at any time all my account information is now on for everyone to take so i can't really do that um i could probably do it with like digimon because digimon doesn't have that uh button but that button allows me not to do it because if any point i hit that the account or my information is out there so not only do they get my information I lose my information and then the person could just hit remember me and it'll just remember my account no matter what I do on it they'll always have my information so I can't do that <laughs> but that's why I'm gonna keep to you in YouTube if I ever want to expand my games I mean that's why I wanted to start playing Digimon that's why I wanted to open this I wanted them to open the server it never happened so I joined a server and that's why I do Dynasty Scrolls. So the three games together are the games I wanted to play. Um, if I'm thinking about adding any more, probably not considering all of them have like a man money aspect in order to get better at a game, you have to obviously waste money. So um, I'm gonna just stay with the three right now. If I do find another game, I have to quit one of the other games and then start playing it. Um, and if the only one I think I would quit would probably be Dynasty Scrolls just because um, I, I, I really love like Digimon and Naruto Ultimate and Ninja. Not that I don't like uh, Dynasty Scrolls, it's just uh, Dynasty Scrolls is really expensive for some of their events. So, and people go hard in the paint on that. So it's like extra, like if you thought like Naruto, um, uh, like you know numbers were high wait till you see that that is fucking ridiculous like that in terms of money that they spend 
ridiculous. And it's not like one or two times, it's like every single event, so it's like, chill. <laughs> Um, someone asked me also, what, um, your top three animes. So, um, my top favorite three animes would probably be, um, the third one would probably be No Game, No Life. I love No Game, No Life. It's a, it, I mean, it's a gamer fucking, it's a gamer anime. Like, I love it. I love the, like, the way that he figured out how to fight them or the way to play the game. Like, it's super cool the way he thinks about it. And I like, I love that aspect of it. It's, I think it's well thought out. I like the animation on it. Cause I'm a person that if it doesn't have a good animation, I won't even watch it. It's just, it's just, it's just a thing for me. So, um, my second one would probably be Medeca Box. I loved the characters in Medeca Box and like their, of all their abilities. Like, I love like, they, they, like usually you know in, in, in anime you have like a person with a sword or like you know size so they have like t t different things but they were like they really went out with it in Medeca box like you had a girl with she had like whether the, the the balls with a chain on it she had like these giant five cannon balls that she literally like would hit you with or the one girl that could eat bullets like that was crazy to do with the screw like they had such a crazy like like, I, I, just this crazy mindset of, like, things that just looked cool in that. Like, that was just, it was just crazy. And the main character herself, she was kind of like, like, usually you dodge things and stuff like that. Like, there was times when she just ran into damage. She just didn't care. But she was a fucking badass. Like, just badass. Just badass. So I loved it. Um, my deck of box is probably my second one. And then my first one is just nostalgia. And I liked it since I was a kid with Zoids. I remember Zoids all my life, just watching it in the in, in like in the uh, in the morning before I went to school. I loved I loved Zoids. Zoids was my shit. Zoids was just awesome, and um, that was always like like my favorite anime, just in terms of like d the just the big ass robots fighting each other. Like just that was just cool. Liger Zero and all of them. I loved it, and, and like. I, it's always been nostalgia and it always reminds me of my childhood so I, I love Zoids love Zoids uh, will I do a face cam someday probably will yeah I just uh, I don't know when I have to make it like a milestone or you know because got motivation to keep going and stuff like that so you probably will see a face cam one day I just don't know when you know but Eventually, yes, you will get a VMS face cam one day. I just don't know when. So, um, and the last question was someone wanted me to tell a story. So, I was like, okay, so what story am I gonna tell? So, I'm gonna tell you the first guy, time I got into a car crash. <laughs> now, um, when I first got into a car, I actually wasn't even in my car. TBH. So, um, so yeah. Uh, the first time I got into a car crash, I was with my girl that was with, I was with her for, was she my fiance at the time? No, I was with her for five years. Um, yeah, I was with her for five years, but we, I wasn't engaged to her at that time. At the time that we were dating, um, yeah, it was at the time we were dating. We were da dating together for five years until I got engaged to her, and then that ended up not working out. That would be a story for another time. Um... But yeah, we went to go visit her grandmother in New York. So we were there for, I guess, like an hour. Because she hasn't seen her grandmother in a while. She has uh, dementia and stuff like that. So uh, things in her, you know, in her head wasn't... Oh, okay. So um, so we went to go s see her. And when uh, what had happened was uh, my car was parked there. So I went with uh, my cousin. And he went uh, with up with us. So it was me, him, and then her. So... We got, we got out of the place and we were hearing like, you know, sirens and I'm like, dude, what the hell is going on? Like, I thought they were just passing by because in New York, you always hear like sirens going by or whatever. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I got in a house um, and, on, and she was like an apartment and then we walked out the doors and I was looking at my car and I'm like, I'm like, yo, cuz, was did you park my car on the sidewalk? Because like, I'm like, he's a good, like me me and him are great drivers like we i've never gotten in a car accident in my whole life um of driving and i've driven since i was able to drive like 18 
So I, I, I passed my test first try, first try and everything. Like me, me and him never get into art and me and him work on cars together. Like there's no way like that would ever happen. So I'm like, cause did you park my car on a sidewalk? And he's like, he's like, no primo. Like I, I, I parked it on the thing. And I'm like, I'm looking at my tires and I'm like, my tires are on the sidewalk. And I look up and there's a car on its side in the middle of the street. So, hold on, I got some vi vi uh, pictures for you. Okay, so what you're seeing is um, the car. So, um, that right there is my blue car. <laughs> uh, it's, as you can see, the tire on the right side is like on the sidewalk, and the car to the left of it is what slammed into it. It's a Jeep. So, um, what had happened was, I guess he was messing around with his dog in the front of the car. And he wasn't paying attention. He went too far to the right. He scraped the taxi that was in back of me, slammed into my tire, and drove my tire into the frame, and then went into the air and slammed into the car in front of me, and then landed on his side. As you can see, he pushed my my tire so far in that the entire axle that was holding it bent. In. So like I couldn't drive my car even when they had to get into my car to drive it You could hear the metal and everything scraping on it. and It was bad. He took off my side mirror um, As you can see like right there that little blue piece right there is my side mirror um, Thing that he pulled off that's the Jeep that it went to the air the red car is what he slammed into the back of it And then the fire truck to the left is where uh, it was I was there. I, I don't know maybe <laughs> Like an hour or so and you know my first time going there my car fucking crashed and it was like my it was like my new car like i just i i don't know it was like brand new so it was before i got my my tires so my tire is in blue um but yeah that was that was that that's the taxi behind me that he scraped into before he slammed into me so yeah yeah but this is um it afterwards my beautiful car uh, that's my girlfriend in the front taking pictures, but that's my my car right there. Um, so, you yeah. know, it was it was taken care of. The guy uh, that did it. Oh, let me go back to the video. Uh, the guy that fixed my car was a person over there, and he I didn't even I, I didn't even know he was kind of like like hey he was like you know I'll take care of your car, and I was like it's kind of sketchy because you know in New York they're always trying to sell you stuff and take care of stuff. They're like yo man, don't worry, I got you. I take it, and at the time I was just like upset. I was just like. Oh like, yeah, like whatever, sure. Like go ahead and like go go ahead and, and, and take the car, you know, like fix it, whatever. He gave me a number, he was like, Hey, you know, like I'll I'll get it, no worry. And then a guy I remember the guy in the Jeep asked him, he was like, Yo, can you take care of my car? He was like, My boss likes money. He was like, And your car is not money. And I was like, oofs. <laughs> like it was it was big oofs. Like I was like, ooh. Like, <laughs> so like, yeah, like it, it was, um, the, uh, the first time I got into a car accident, I wasn't in the damn car. And then, um, it was upsetting because like, I had to call my dad cause I live in New Jersey. I had to call my dad just to drive an hour, two hours almost to New York just to pick me up, just to go back home. Like it was, it was really upsetting. Like I was just, I was upset, but it was like, it wasn't even my fault. I'm like, dad, it's not my fault. Like I, I, I was literally parked. It's like not. It's not like I, I was like driving reckless and I fucking hit a 180 and all that, and then I crashed. Like no, it's like I, I was parked at like I was parked. Like how do you hit a parked car, my guy? <laughs> so like it was really and, and like all the other cars were able to drive away. Like they had damages to their car, but they were drivable. Mine was the only one that was not drivable. Like it, the, the tire was into the frame. As you could see, so I was like, "Come on, man! Like, I can't even drive it home. Like, if I could drive it home, maybe if I just lost my back, like my back window, like the other guy." And I'm like, "All right, that's cool. I could just tape it back up. We'll drive back home, and you know, that's that." No, like my whole car was just it was not drivable. Like, and I was like, "Great!" Like, it, like I think all together, it said it was like, it was sixteen thousand. 400 I think I, th I think or 12 that it's one of those numbers it was one of those numbers and the guy had like he had I don't think he had, he had insurance 
So my insurance paid for it, but like I didn't pay any money for it because I wasn't it wasn't my my car. Like uh, it was my accident, so like I wasn't at fault basically. There you go. That, I wasn't at fault. So when my company called me, I was like, oh, I was like, that's it. You guys are done. He was like, yeah, just give uh, the company that fixed your car this money, and uh, he was like, you're clear. We have we're going after them now. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, I'm I'm done then. <laughs> like so, so yeah, that was pretty much it. That was the only story of me being in my first car accident. It was yeah. It was something, but um, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. I just wanted you guys to see something so that way you weren't just here looking at the blank screen, um, and you guys could see some video, some you know battles or whatever, and some video footage of you know, or footage of you know the, what happens to my car. So that was pretty much it. But yeah, guys, uh, I I got nothing else to show you though, guys. And no, no events up right now. But I love you guys though. Um, thank you for sticking with me for this long. Seriously. Um, and thank you for you people who also watch my other videos because it helps me in spreading and getting bigger and better and just be able to do more videos for you guys. I love every single one of you. I really do. Like you guys have made this a wonderful year. Like I know COVID was out and it, it was terrible. I remember that shitty for everyone, <laughs> but hands down, it was, it was an, an amazing uh, year and I had a great time going through it and it was fucking Awesome, and here goes to another great year, um, and hopefully I get the 3K. <laughs> so I love you guys though, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.